Hey Internet, we're out here taking our test plot out today and I thought I'd give you just a quick video on what we're doing. So what we got out here is different strips, you'll see that when I drive along the ends. But we got different strips of corn out here and we're taking eight rows of a tester and eight rows of a different hybrid. What that means is that across this part of the field we've got uh, a different hybrid of corn planted in each different strip and next to that different hybrid of corn on every strip we've also got eight rows of what we're calling a tester. So I'll show you up here on my field view map. The blue is our consistent hybrid and that's the hybrid that we're going to use to compare uh, each, each tested hybrid with each other. So the purple strips are my eight rows of different hybrids to test. So in this field we've got 13 different hybrids that we're going to test. Most of them we've actually never planted before. They're from all kinds of different companies. It's kind of a random thing. I know what variety is where, but I haven't given that information to the people running the way wagon yet. So every time I take eight rows across, I bring back a different hybrid. If they weigh it, they take the moisture and the test weight, and then we get uh, an outcome of how it yields what the test weight and moisture is, and we compare it to the tested eight rows right next to it. That way we can keep uniformity across the field, just in case that field got better or worse from one side to the other. So that's what we're out here doing today, is testing those. It's really interesting to see how the different hybrids test amongst each other, uh, and it's also good to see how it does against our own dirt, rather than just uh, you know hearing from a company that something is good or bad, now we're actually growing it on our own soil, in our own climate, and seeing how it does on our actual dirt out here in our fields. So that's what we're doing today. I'll kind of show you through a couple of things there. It's just going to be a quick video that I thought I'd make on my phone and kind of show you guys what we're doing. So here you can kind of see where I've got the strips taken out. I took out eight rows in between each one because of our eight row header and our 24 row planter. So we ended up with 16 rows of tester in between each hybrid. So I took eight of those out because eight of those are not gonna matter for this test. These guys are up here running the wagon. So every time I come back with a variety, they test it here. This wagon is really accurate and weighs exactly to the pound what I'm bringing in. taking the fifth variety of this test plot and a couple things about this test plot uh, this is not something that we do for a specific company or anything like that what this is is we call this our county plot uh, meaning that the county our county has a corn and soybean growers association that organizes this plot and uh, we put out several plots like this through the county organization and we charge the individual companies a set amount of money in order to enter the plot with a variety. So they pay, they pay some money to the county organization to get into this plot. We take these test plots out, we send them to the county, the county puts the data together and then gives that data to their members. So the members of the county organization get this data to know what different hybrids are doing in their county and how they're performing. What the county organization does with the money from the seed companies is put together scholarships for local high school kids that are graduating in order to help put them through school uh, if they're going for something that's ag related. So if they're going for something like uh, ag management or, or, or veterinary technician or uh, anything like that, agronomy, anything ag agriculture related they can apply to us and we've got a scholarship committee that decides what we're going to give those kids and who we're going to choose for those scholarships so that's a little bit about who puts this plot together and what the money goes for and so here now i'm taking tester number five to compare with that last variety uh, one thing about the eight row header since i know you guys are going to ask uh, we run an eight row header because uh, we don't have the trucks or the grain dryer to keep up with a 12 row header anyway. So we can drive six miles an hour in 200 bushel corn with this eight row header, which brings in just as many bushels per hour as uh, 
driving a little bit slower with a 12 row header so we kind of figure at this point a 12 row header is really not worth it uh, most likely when we update headers here we probably will go with a 12 row just because we got the machine to handle it and everything but uh, for now an 8 row is as much as our grain dryer and our semis can keep up with anyway in a good year so that's the reason we run an 8 row header there you see she's writing down the weights uh, the test weights the actual weights and the moisture and you can see the cart emptying right there we've got it emptying into one of our semis on the other side coming up here is an example of where a real-life field condition can really show you the different results on on what the varieties will do so the variety I'm combining now is nice and tall and this spot here just couldn't take this low-lying area where the field is a little bit wetter. Uh, height doesn't always translate into yield, but, but I can tell you from looking at that that it's not going to yield nearly what this stuff will. So that's kind of an example of where we can take this test plot and use it to see where these different hybrids will perform under real field conditions. It's pretty slimy out here today. We had uh, the top of the ground frozen, so things were going pretty well, but today we got up to about 40 degrees. So the top of the ground's pretty slimy. So we're just having these trucks, we're just loading the front of these trucks, because they gotta drive a ways back through the field to get to this part, so. We're just loading these trucks in the front. That way, hopefully, we don't get anything stuck back here. Well, this is it. This will finish up our last eight rows of tester. I'll go give this to them. We'll tally up all the results and take a look at it. And we'll get to see, look and see which hybrid did the best out here and how it compared to our tester. When we uh, planted this tester, we planted a common hybrid that we frequently plant. Uh, that way we get a real result to compare one of our common hybrids to some of the other hybrids that are out there as an option for us. You can see we got the ripper chasing us. He hasn't turned his lights on yet. He's a little tough to see. But we got the tillage going behind us. And uh, besides this piece now, we're finished with this. We've just got 45 acres left at home. Uh, a lot of it, unfortunately, was hurt in a windstorm. So it was kind of knocked down. And uh, it's hard to pick up. It's got some snow on top of it. We've been struggling with trying to get that. So I don't know exactly what we're going to do there yet. Uh, but we were working on it some yesterday. I do have a video that I need to edit and get put up about some of that where I can show you guys that. Uh, otherwise, hopefully, we'll start working on that in the next couple of days here and I can get you guys some video of that. It takes a few hours and it's kind of a pain in the neck, but it's definitely fun to have these results and be able to compare the different hybrids. So we've got some different choices going into next year and so that we know what options are out there as far as competitive hybrids of corn. There's a muddy spot behind me. I'd like to back all the way through it if I can. Well, hopefully this last truck of the night gets out of here. The field's getting pretty slimy. So we're hoping he'll get out of here. We only have the very front of that truck loaded, which actually helps for traction. If you get the whole trailer loaded, then you start struggling to try and get it out of here. But anyway, Here's our paper. This shows the different varieties in the testers. I've got the varieties written down, but I didn't give them to them because I didn't want anything to come out biased at all. So over here is the weights, the moistures, uh, the uh, row lengths, and the calculation that they did with the test weight to come up with the yield. So we've got all our different varieties on these two pages, and I'll take them and give them to the county guy who does the calculations on those. He'll put the book booklet together with everybody's plots on there and all the results. We'll send it out to our members and then we'll take that money and we'll give that out as scholarships to local high school kids that are, are graduating. So that's a little bit about how we do our test plot. I thought I'd walk you guys through that. I appreciate you watching. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well.